Thomas Zimmermann. I'm teaching archaeology at Bilkent University in Ankara for 11 years now. And we are here at Chatalhuyuk. Now we are here in Chatalhuyuk, which is one of the oldest Neolithic settlements in Turkey. Not the oldest, it belongs to the early pottery Neolithic, which means the late 8th and 7th millennium BC. What you see here is the outcome of several decades of archaeological research here, starting in the 1950s under the directorship of the late James Mallard, and it was continued in the 1990s and the 21st centuries as a um, um, multidisciplinary project under the directorship of uh, British professor Ian Hodder. Now, what is the most puzzling, or one of the most puzzling features of this place is that it was not established in one of the most ideal places that would be for agriculture, carrying, agri carrying out agriculture and animal husbandry. It was established right in the middle of a swamp, <laughs> which is indeed not the ideal place to settle, but people did. So the question is, why did they do this? This is not the beginning of the Neolithic. This is already the advanced Neolithic when people should be aware of where to settle, to have access to fertile soils, to sufficiently grow crops and carry out uh, animal husbandry in an efficient way. But no, people chose to settle in a swamp, which of course coincides with lots of problems they had to cope with, like keeping the houses dry, because the walls are constantly soaked wet with water, or um, finding a place for growing crops and uh, herding the animals. So lots of problems that people had to cope with in here, but they did for reasons that we still discuss as archaeologists, like, yeah, was it for protection, to be safe, or was it to have access to vital raw material resources, or was it because uh, they had control here, or they could control the um, um, trade routes that uh, crossed the Konya plain from here. So lots of open questions that we are still brooding about here in archaeology. Thank you.